This is the Evenflow Revolve 360 rotating car seat. I'm Heather from Car Seat Side. I'm a child passenger safety technician and instructor, and I'm going to show you how to install it. This is the original Revolve 360. It goes from 4 to 40 pounds rear facing and from 22 to 65 pounds. This is the model that you will see in Walmart. But um, there's also the Extend version, which goes from 4 to 50 pounds rear facing, uh, and also the Slim version, which also goes from 4 to 40 pounds rear facing and 22 to 65 pounds. The difference between the original version, which looks like this, that you can find in Walmart, as well as the Extend version, and the Slim model is that the Slim model does not become a booster seat for later on for older kids um, when they outgrow the harness. So the slim version is just a convertible seat, rear facing and forward facing. So let's get down to installing the seat. The first thing we have to do is remove it from its base. So let me show you how to do that. First, what we have to do is we have to line up our arrows. So to do that, we're gonna pull up one of these handles and rotate the seat. There is an arrow on your seat and we have to line up these arrows arrow to arrow, then we can lift off the seat. Okay, just like that. Now we have our base. On the bottom of the base is our top tether. So find your top tether and remove it because what we're going to do is use that in our installation. So make sure that's free. And I'm just gonna break that. Well, in my car, you can tell it's gonna fall off if I don't attach it. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it loose and put it there. Next, we're going to lift this arm right here in the middle of the car seat. This is what's called a belt tensioner and this belt tensioner will clamp down on our seat belt and get it super tight for us. And so we want to lift that up. We're going to take our seat belt. This model is designed for seat belt installations. So forget about latch. Don't worry about it. Latch is not safer. Seatbelt is not safer. Whatever you can get the tightest installation with is the safest. But with seatbelt, it's super fast and it will be super tight. So take your seatbelt, put it underneath here through this belt path. Your belt path is where you see the blue. So route that underneath, through. And I just pull out enough to get the seat belt through the belt path and buckled. So we'll get that buckled in. Make sure that the seat belt is underneath the tabs. There are some tabs in here on this blue belt path and you'll see them. I'll show you a close up of the belt path in just a second but you'll see these tabs, make sure that seatbelt is underneath those tabs, and then just kind of take the slack out of the seatbelt. You don't have to pull it tight. This arm right here is gonna do that tightness for us. So make sure you just pull the slack out that there's not any extra seatbelt in there, and then just push down on this arm and get it nice and snug and make sure that it's locked down. In your lock, there is an indicator window down here and it will turn from red to green. And when it does that, you know it's locked. And look how tight this is. This is super tight. It's rocking my car. That's how tight it gets. And there was like no effort on my part. So next, what we're going to do is attach a top tether. But first, I know I almost forgot, I need to lock my seatbelt. Because again, this is a belt tensioner. It's not a belt lock off. So lock your seatbelt, pull it out all the way slowly to the very end. Do you hear the clicks? That means we've switched the retractor into locked mode for seatbelts, for car seats. Okay, so it's locked and it's getting shorter and shorter. And we just wanna make sure that it's locked. Okay, 
That was the final step we had to do. Make doubly sure that you've locked your seat belt. Now we're gonna deal with the top tether. Okay, we're back on track. I'm going to lengthen my tether. And next, I'm going to attach it to my tether anchor. The tether anchor on my seat is on the bottom on the back of my seat, so I have to move my seat forward. Okay, now our base is installed. We use this top tether, whether we're rear facing or forward facing, and we've got the seat is nice and tight. The seat belt is locked, okay? Our base is showing green, and now we're going to attach our car seat. Okay, we line up our arrows just like when we took it off. So find your arrow. Line it up to the arrow on the base, and there you go, it's attached. One thing I'd like to point out is the lock. So when it's not in position, such as rear facing or forward facing, it's going to show red. So when it's in loading position right here, when it's red, it means you should not be driving. So as soon as you turn it to forward face, or rear facing, I'm sorry, and lock it into position. Now you're ready to drive. This is green, okay? So now we're okay to drive. The car can be in motion. When it's forward facing, and green, the car is ready to go in motion. Anytime this shows red, you, the car cannot be in motion because the seat can come off its base. Another thing I'd like to point out is sometimes, oops, sometimes you can't get that seat to go into forward facing mode. No matter how hard you try, you may try it from this direction as well. You just can't get it to go into forward facing mode. And that's because it's in the wrong recline position. It needs to be all the way reclined, and this is for all the models, for the regular model, for the extend version, and for the slim version. So right here on the back of the seat is the recline handle. Just recline the seat all the way, and then you can put it into forward-facing mode. That's a little trick that caught me too when we first got the seat. So that is an important Reminder, so make sure that it's not in fully upright mode when you try to get it forward facing. Okay. So that's how you install the Evenflow Revolve 360 car seat.